everybody and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. So today, as you can tell by the title of this video, we are playing with the Naked Urban Decay Heat Palette. Yes, dear. We are going to be having some fun with this palette today. I am super, super excited because I finally got my hands on it and a friend of mine actually gifted this to me for my birthday, so thank you Stacy again for the fabulous makeup, I really appreciate it. Um, so we're just going to dive right in. Now I've already used this palette a couple times because I wanted to try it out, wanted to try out the pigments and stuff like that, and really get a feel for the palette before I actually did a video tutorial on it. So that is number one. Now. Um, normally I don't really talk a lot about skincare here on my channel, but today I really wanted to because I picked up a new moisturizer that I am absolutely in love with. This is the Corez Pomegranate Moisturizer. Um, it is absolutely amazing. It's a moisturizer and balancing cream, so this actually helps balance out the pH uh, levels in your skin after you do all of your serums and anti-aging and all of that kind of stuff. It can sometimes leave the skin very dry and this just gives you a blast of moisture and it is absolutely incredible and it smells absolutely ugh, amazing. Like literally it smells like you know when you crack open a pomegranate and you're taking out all the seeds and you're putting them into the bowl or whatever? That's exactly what it smells like. Like, if you guys are looking for a great moisturizer to use um, for the winter months and even for the summer months, um, it's light enough that uh, you can use it during the summer as well. It's not a very heavy cream at all. It's very, very light. It's luxurious. It's fabulous. So the Corez Pomegranate uh, moisturizer and balancing cream. This is the moisturizer that I have been using as of late as a day moisturizer. So definitely go and get this. As per usual, I've done my brows, I've done my foundation, I did my concealer, and I did my setting powder. Um, also already primed my face before all of that. So the primer that I use today, of course, is the Smashbox um, photo finish foundation primer. This is oil free. It is absolutely amazing. It's great for all skin types. Uh, they actually are the number one primer authority. Uh, in Canada, they have a primer for every single type of skin. So it is absolutely incredible. So if you're looking for a great primer, I would go with this. And then of course my foundation today, the Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear um, Foundation. This foundation has been one of my all-time favorites. Um, I haven't used it in a little while, so I thought I would dig it out of the vault today and uh, use it. And so far, it is feeling fabulous. My skin looks absolutely incredible. And then, of course, for my concealer, I use the Studio Skin 24-Hour Waterproof Concealer in the shade Fair Light. That is what that looks like right there. These are absolutely incredible. Um, I know everybody is talking about the Tarte Shape Tape. I have not gotten my hands on it yet. I'm planning on buying it so that I can test it out for myself because I've never used it before. Um, so I would really, really, really like to. So um, give me about a couple weeks and hopefully I will be able to get my hands on that as well. And I know everybody's talking about the new Tarte Shape Tape Foundations. And there's a lot of controversy on the foundations. Now, here's the thing. I just quickly wanted to touch on this because everybody's talking about it, so I figured why not put my opinion out there into the world as well. Um, I think it's absolutely sad that Tarte um, decided that they were only going to release a certain amount of shades to begin with, and they're all light shades. They have three dark shades, and one of them is, like, really dark. But when you look at the swatches online, and when you hear people talking about it, honestly, here's my piece about it. Fenty Beauty, when Rihanna released the Fenty Beauty line, she came out with a foundation shade for almost everybody. Now, I know that Tarte went on to IG stories and talked about the controversy saying that we can and will do better and we are working our butts off to try and bring out the next set of shades. 
here's my tea. If you're not ready to release the entire collection of shades, Tarte, you done fucked up, girl. You done fucked up. You shouldn't have released it in the first place. I think it's absolutely stupid because now people of color are having to wait however many months for you guys to get your shit together and put out the rest of the shades. You should have released all of the shades all at once. Us, as consumers, are willing to wait if you want to release a full collection. I know that there was a lot of pressure on you guys to be able to release a full collection, but you should have waited and you should have released them all at once so that all of your consumers could have the shade that they need instead of sitting on the sidelines watching everybody else be able to use this new fabulous foundation that stuck, you know, going online and being like, oh shit, where's my shade? Like, this is some bullshit, okay? Truthful, honest opinion from yours truly, Maxwell Alexander. I don't care what you guys have to say. If you guys don't like my opinion, don't watch my videos. I don't care. But this is how the beauty industry is supposed to work. To me, personally, I find it a little bit racist that you would put out so many light shades and make people of color wait for theirs. Like, I don't know if it has to do with the amount of um, white people buying your products and that there's more of um, more white folk, I guess, buying your product and that's why you put out all the light shades first is so that you can make a quick easy buck and then put out the other shades because there's not enough of them for you to be able to do that. I'm not too sure if that's the case or not. That's just my personal opinion. I feel like you put out those shades just to make a quick buck because you were under pressure and you wanted to get the product out, but you should have waited, girl. You should have waited. Anyway, now that all that drama is finished, we are going to jump right into this makeup tutorial. As half of you already know, these shades in this palette are absolutely insane. The pigmentation of these is freaking nuts. The first time I ever used this palette, I tapped in like I normally do on any of my other palettes and I went to go and do my, um, my transition shade and I literally had to wipe it off and start again because I had put so much pigment onto my lid. So you really, really gotta be careful with this palette. Use it very sparingly because the colors in this are insane. Girl, let me tell you, and we're gonna dive into that right now. So I'm going to zoom in on this beautiful face and we will get started with today's makeup. All right, so now that we have you guys nice and up close on this gorgeous, gorgeous face today, now we are going to dive right into this makeup. I am super, super excited. So, first off, let me talk about the palette itself. I absolutely love this. It's super shiny. It feels very, very heavy. It's very luxurious. I absolutely love it. I love the way that they did the plastic over top of this background. It's just super, super nice. When you open up the palette, it does come with a double-ended brush that you can see here. One is for like packing um, lid shadows on, and then the other side is more of a blending brush. Now, I have used this brush, and I do actually like it. Most of the time, when palettes come with brushes and stuff like that, they come with those stupid little sponge applicators. I freaking hate those. And most of the time, I just end up throwing these brushes away. But Urban Decay actually pulled out real well with this. Um, they, like, the brush is absolutely fantastic, so we are going to be using this brush a little bit today. Of course, I've got all of my typical brushes that I use on an everyday basis, but for right now, we are going to start off with this brush. Now, the first color that I am going to go into on this palette is called Ounce, and this is that nice white shade right there, and this is just going to go all over my lid today. And I already primed my eyes with my foundation and my concealer and set it with my setting powder. So that's why we're not using um, the uh, Too Faced Shadow Insurance Primer today like I've done in previous videos. Although I really do love their primer, I think today I just want some... I don't want to use too much of a primer today. 
I don't know if that made any sense. That didn't make any sense coming out of my mouth, to be perfectly honest, just so you know. <laughs> All right, so now that we have that base shade down, now we are going to go in with the other side of the brush, which you can see right there, and we are going to dive in to this color called Sauced, and it is this beautiful kind of brownish, um, like almost like uh, like a almost like a milk chocolate brown kind of color, and I live for this. And, of course, we are going to tap off. Now, there is a lot of fallout, as you guys probably just saw that. But, that's probably because I tapped off too hard. But, we're just going to take this. And, like I said, like, see that? Already, we've got some pigment going on. So, just very, very lightly buffing that into our crease. And, buff it out. Up towards our brow here. And as I said before, like seriously, this brush is amazing for blending out shadow. It is absolutely incredible. I am super, super impressed with this palette. They really, Urban Decay really did a good job with this, you guys, like seriously. So if you're looking for like an amazing palette to, to buy, I would definitely suggest going and getting this Urban Decay Naked Heat palette. Um, I know everybody's got nudes and stuff like that, and they have, like, three different uh, naked palettes, but this one was the one that I was most excited for because it had other colors. It had shimmers, and it's very, very fall. It is super fall, and I love that. It's fall, winter, dark, um, crazy colors, and it's just fantastic. So I absolutely love this palette. Okay, so now that we have that transition shade all down, now we are going to go and darken up this crease a little bit, and I'm going to be using this nice little pencil brush here, just a nice small little tiny pencil brush, and we're going, actually, you know what, no, we're not. We're actually going to go in with a bit more of a fluffy detailer brush, I think, and we're just going to add some color, and we're going to slowly deepen up this crease, because eventually what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be going in with a black shimmer for the lid today. I've already planned out this look, um, which I'm super excited about. Uh, I can't wait to see how this is going to turn out. Hopefully it turns out really well. I'm praying. I am praying, but we'll see. So next shade that we're going to go in with is we're going to go in with this He Devil. I absolutely love the name of this shade. It is so cute and so funny. He Devil, and God knows, we all know, I am an angel, and my halo is held up by my devil horns. Ask my mother. She'll, she'll, she'll tell you. It's the truth. Right, Mom? <laughs> and like I said, these are super, super pigmented, so be very, very gentle with your brush. Like I said, you do not need a lot of product. You don't need a lot of product for this. Like, it's kind of crazy how pigmented these really are. I was literally shook. Like, shooketh to death of the pigment of these. I cannot speak enough about the pigment of these. They are so pigmented. In the words of many MUA, so pigmented. Like, girl, let me tell ya. I have never come across shadows so pigmented in my entire life. Urban Decay, you did the damn thing. Like, okay. All right, next we are going to go in with that tiny pencil detailing brush that I showed you guys earlier. Here it is. And we are going to dip in to this color called In Fugo? Uh, on Fugo or something. I. I don't even know how to pronounce this, so if I'm pronouncing it wrong, do not shade me. I just don't know how to pronounce this fucking word, okay? Okay, good. So anyway, we're gonna go in with this kind of deep red brick color, and that is going right into the crease to give us depth and dimension. As you guys know, my lids are not fully sunken in, so I always have to go in with a deep, deep color to really, really bring that 
dimension back to my eye, because otherwise we just look completely flat, and looking, f nobody wants to look flat, like, I mean, let's be real. <laughs> Like I said, these shadows, I'm barely, barely touching this. Like, look, you guys. Like, seriously? Barely touching it. Bear, just, like, the slightest little bit is all you need. And tap that off and go right into the crease. Like, these shadows are so pigmented. It is redonkulous. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the same brush and I'm going to take a little bit of the color Ashes and we're going to blend that right into the corner. Now I'm fully coating my brush for this but I am going to tap some of the excess off and we're just going to put that right in the very very corner. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that same uh, Urban Decay brush that we used before and we are going to blend that into the crease so that everything blends seamlessly. Alright, so now that um, that shadow and the crease and everything is down, you can get a close look here of how that looks. I think it looks absolutely stunning. With a packing brush, but first what I would like to do is we are actually going to go in with a little bit of the Too Faced Shadow Insurance 24 hour anti crease eyeshadow primer and we're actually going to cut out this lid a little bit just to the corner so that uh, when we put down the sparkle black it stays perfectly in place. We don't want it to move at all, we don't want it to fade so we definitely need to make sure that that is happening properly. Okay, so I'm just going to take a little bit of the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Primer we're just going to put a little bit on the back of my hand. Literally, just a tiny little pea-sized amount. That is literally all you need. And now, now that we have that shadow primer down, now using that exact same brush that we just did the primer with, we're actually going to go right in to my Smashbox Full Exposure Palette, and we are going to use this black color right down here. And we're just going to pick up, we're just going to press our brush into it to pick up the pigment. Don't run it all over the place because we want to pick up that glitter and then we're just going to press that right where we want it so that it doesn't move. Ooh, that is so pretty. Wow. Okay, and now going back in with that blending brush again we're just going to blend this crease with this black a little bit, using a little bit more of that uh, shade called Infugo. So we're going to pick some of that up on the brush and just run that over top of that black shimmer shade to really finesse it and make sure that it's all blended really nice and evenly with the rest of our shadow. Alright, so now that the lid shadow is down, now we are going to take another small little pencil detailing brush here and we're going to do these under eyes. Now today for the under eyes, what I think I'm going to do is I am going to use a little bit of the He Devil uh, shade and I'm also going to use a little bit of ashes as well just to darken up right along the waterline but then He Devil is going to come down further so it's going to give us a nice really really nice dark smoky effect. Now taking a blending brush right here just a nice fluffy one we're just going to blend out the bottom here. Alright, and now going back in with that same brush, we are going to take a little bit of the color Ashes. And we're just going to run that right under the waterline. We're not going to take it all the way down, just under the waterline. Alright, so now that we've got those colors down and these shadows are all finished and complete, I'm going to go into my mascara and my eyeliner off camera because it takes forever to do and I'm sure you guys don't want to sit here for 20 fucking minutes watching me apply my mascara and apply my eyeliner so I am going to go and do that off camera and I will be right back. 
Alright, so now that the mascara on eyeliner is all finished, today what I used for mascara and liner is for the top lashes, I used the Clinique Chubby Lash Fattening Mascara. This I got in one of those kits uh, that you can get from Shoppers Drug Mart. They are a great way to save money on mascara, especially if you don't know what mascara to buy. Um, I would believe... I can't quite remember the price, but it comes with a little certificate inside of it that you can actually go to shoppers and pick out a full size of whichever one in the box that you choose. And I think it comes with like 10 different mascaras in the box that you get to choose from, and they are all travel size, which is awesome if you fly, if you're traveling all over the place, if you're going any place um, at all, basically, um, or if you're just going out for dinner with the girls and you want to bring a mascara but you don't want to bring the whole tube, these are a great, great way of, um, saving money. Not only that, but also the one that you pick that you like the most, you get a full size of for free when you buy the box. So, if you're looking to save money, that's the great way to go. So, I used the Chubby Lash Fattening Mascara on the top, and I used my Benefit Roller Lash on the bottom. For eyeliner today, we switched it up a little bit. I didn't use my Smashbox, always on uh, gel liner in Fishnet. Today, I actually went with a nice brown shade by Annabelle. This is the Annabelle Coal Eyeliner um, in 72 Brown. Uh, and that is what that looks like right there. So these eyeliners are actually really inexpensive, but they work really, really well. The only thing about these that I don't like is that you do have to take it with you and you may have to reapply a couple times throughout the day because it does wear down, um, just like any sort of eyeliner. It doesn't officially stay on all day long, um, but it definitely works really, really, really well. I really, really love these and they're hypoallergenic, so you can put these into the waterline as well. So, now it is time to move on to the contour, the blush, and the highlights. So, today I'm going to be playing with a fun palette that I got, again, from Stacy. Seriously, you guys, Stacy gave me so much makeup over the Christmas holidays and gave me so much stuff for my birthday. Like, it's absolutely insane. Um, I, she is going to be here on my channel at some point. Stacy, if you're watching this, we gotta make a video together, girl. Time's wasting. Let's get this done. Like, I seriously, seriously want to do a video with you. Um, she is one of my all-time biggest fans. Um, also, uh, one of, um, my most amazing supporters as well. Uh, she's absolutely incredible. Um, of course, no one could take the place of my wife, Callie. Um, Callie and me have been friends for over ten years. Um, eventually you guys will get to see her, um, on my channel here as well. I married a lesbian. Her name is Callie. And I am her gay husband. We are in a sexless marriage and it works out perfectly for us. I absolutely love it. By the way, not actually legally binding, but seriously, if she weren't a lesbian and I weren't gay, we would seriously be together. So, Callie, shout out to you, girl. I love you more than words can say. Mwah. This is from last year's Christmas collection. She's never used it, and so she passed it down to me. This is the Christmas in New York by Too Faced, the Chocolate Shop Cocoa Powder Infused. Oh my god, you guys, seriously, you open this palette and uh, it smells like chocolate and it's so good. So when you open up the palette, it looks like this. It's got the cute little chocolate shop up here and then you've got all these fabulous eyeshadows. So today what we're going to be doing is we are going to be diving into this uh, bronzer shade here. We're not actually going to do a full contour uh, today because I feel like the eyes kind of speak for themselves and I just kind of want to keep it, keep the focus here. So we're actually just going to kind of contour and bronze up the face with this color here. Um, I'm going to go in with my usual um, little Quo uh, contour tapered brush here. I absolutely love using this brush because it fits this part of my face just so, so perfectly. You have no idea. So this is called Chocolate Soule, and 
Oh, it smells like heaven. Even when I'm putting it on, it literally makes me want to run to Bernard Calibo and get chocolate. Like, seriously, you guys. Like, you have no clue what you are getting into with this palette. So we're just going to bronze up these cheeks and kind of carve them out just a little bit. Like I said, I didn't want to go too heavy with a contour today. I think I want to keep this a little bit more on the light side. And as you can already see, it like these are highly pigmented as well. All this makeup that Stacy got me is like super highly pigmented. I absolutely love it. Um, of course, me being me and things that I've been going through, I haven't really been able to afford high-end makeup. So the fact that Stacy gave me all of this makeup to play with and uh, keep is absolutely incredible and I get to bring it to you guys and um, show some really amazing looks. I am also going to be doing a full look using this palette as well. We're going to do a full face using this palette um, which is going to be absolutely amazing. I can't wait to play with some of these colors like these two down here are to die for. This teal kind of color and this purple, I am dying, girl. Like, literally, like, dead. Dying. Shooketh to death. So, like, these shades take no effort. Like, cheat, done, complete. Like, super easy. Like, oh my god. Like, I absolutely love, love, love this palette. And like I said, you hardly have to dip in, like, at all, which I love. And now we are going to bronze up these temples, of course. Give us a little bit of color back to the face. And you see that? Like, literally. Hardly any product. And it just goes on so smooth. And we're also going to buff this out a little bit with my big fluffy powder brush. Just to make sure that everything is super blended and looking snatched for the gods. So now that that is done, we're just going to go in with my big fluffy powder brush. Because you can see where that line is. And I don't really like that. So we're going to go in with this brush. And we're just going to buff and blend with a nice big powder brush just to make sure that everything's looking fierce here. All right, so now that that is all complete, now we are going to move on to the blush. So the blush that I am going to use today is also from this palette and it is called Chocolate Covered Strawberry. And that's this color right here. I have been in freaking love with this blush. Where did my blush? Okay, so we're just going to tap into this very slightly. This is very pigmented. I cannot stress this enough. Very, very pigmented. You only need a little bit of this, and I will show you right now what I'm talking about. Just that little bit that I tapped, and it's already given us some beautiful, beautiful color. And we're going to tap back in again. And we're just going to pull it back. And I like to pull my blush back along this side, uh, along, like up along that line, that cheekbone line there. I just find it adds a little bit more definition to the cheek instead of just having like these big round spots of blush on the cheek. I like to pull it back just a touch just to really give us a little bit of extra definition here. Alrighty, so now that our contour or bronzer and our blush is finished. Now it is time to move on to the main event, highlighting. So today for highlight, we are going to be going in with, of course, my favorite highlighter to put down as a base, and that is the Stila Heaven's Hue Highlighter in the shade Kitten. And what we are going to do is we are just going to take this kind of like um, packing define contour brush. I like using this brush to put on my highlight because it just makes it so much more intense. It's a very, very dense brush, and I find it just does the job so much better than anything that I've ever used before. Um, everybody to each their own, you know, you use whatever you want for, depending on um, what, uh, what highlighter you're using and stuff like that. Some highlighters work better with other brushes, some brushes work better with other highlighters, you know how it is. So whatever your personal preference is, just do whatever you kind of want to do for that. And this we are just going to place right above that cheekbone there. Just, ooh, 
Yes, queen. And I like to take my highlight all the way back, because then when you're wearing like a pair of sunglasses or something like that, people can see it kind of off the side of your face. And they're like, oh shit, bitch. She highlighted for the gods. Canadian Space Station, here I come. Don't be looking at me through a mirror. You might blind yourself. Or Meg, don't be looking at yourself through a mirror, because that makes total sense. Don't look at don't look at me through a magnifying glass. You might burn your retina, girl. Ooh, yes. Looking in the viewfinder, it is just so blinding, and I live. And we're gonna do the same to the other side. See, with my beauty lights, it's like super, super intensified. But like when <laughs> when I'm not underneath my beauty lights and I'm just like outside and stuff like that, it shows up so much nicer. But like here, it looks like oh damn, bitch, like holy shit, you crazy. But, um, in natural light, it actually looks really, 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 really good. Uh, we're also going to take this, and we're just going to bring it just up the temple, just a slight bit, um, just up to where that, uh, brow bone is, like, where that arch is. I like to put a little bit there because it makes my forehead look smaller. Also, putting a highlight around, like, this seems to be, like, the new trend, is to go all the way up and around. And like I said, I always wear glasses that are front-facing, so you can always see the side. And I love it when I just turn like this, and it's like, BAM! Bitch! You blind! <laughs> it is one of my favorite, favorite things. So we are going to do that today with this and like I said this is just a base like we are going in girl with another highlighter as well like we always do on this channel because you know you girl doesn't get enough highlighting in her life hiller listen to me I sound like freaking media hiller girl hiller uh now we are going to go in with the Urban Decay Naked Illuminated Highlighter I absolutely love the packaging for this this is absolutely stunning the glitter on the top of it, like, I mean, when I first bought it, it was a lot more glittery, but when you open it, like, can we just take a moment? Like, damn, like, there is some, like, glitter in this, the highlighter itself is absolutely amazing, it's a baked highlighter, and I absolutely love it. Now, watch what happens when I put this over top of this base. You guys are gonna, you guys are all about to die right about now. Ugh, I just want to be buried in, like, mass amounts of glitter and highlight. Like, I kid you not, you guys. Like, seriously, highlighting and glitter is, like, my ultimate existence. If you've seen any of my other uh, looks and stuff like that on Instagram, which is right there, by the way, or if you checked out uh, my Facebook page as well, which is www.facebook.com forward slash makeup by Maxwell. Please go and check those out. You will totally understand what I'm talking about when I say I want to be buried in glitter and highlighter because every other photo I've got glitter and highlight on every time. But this highlighter, this illuminated um, highlight is just so freaking spectacular. And I love the big, like, kind of chunks of glitter in it, too. It just, ugh. Ugh, just bury me in it, please. Okay, so now we are going to go back in with the Heaven's Hue Highlight. And we're going to run this right down the center of our nose. And a little bit on the tip. Okay, so now that the majority of our highlighting is done, I also want to highlight just this inner corner of my eye. I feel like it's just missing a little bit of pizzazz, so we're going to take this, like, ultra pencil brush that I got in a set of, like, 35 little mini brushes. I think a friend of mine gave these to me. I don't remember, but this is a great brush for doing the inner corner, I found, because um, it's just so precise. So we're just going to take some of that Heaven's Lee Hue highlighter again, on the tip of this brush, we're going to fully load it because we want it to really sparkle. We're just going to go in. Yes, mama! So much better already. And now, going back in with the Urban Decay Naked Illuminated. Swirling this brush around and popping that right there. Ooh, queen! Ooh, yes! So pretty, and it really opens up this eye look a little bit more too, which I like 
a lot. Okay, so now that we are finished highlighting all the high points of our face and the inner corners of our eyes, we are going to go in with an Elizabeth Arden lipstick. I know most of the time I use a liquid lipstick, but I think for today's look, I think we are going to use... So I think for today, we are going to go in with this shade called Bold Red, number 41, from Elizabeth Arden. And let's get to lips. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. If you did, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. It would be greatly, greatly appreciated. Also, if you guys haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. It would be greatly, greatly appreciated if you would. My goal right now is to get to 50 subscribers by the end of February. So, if we can make it there, I might have a special giveaway planned. Yes, that's right. One of my lucky 50 subscribers, if we hit 50. We have to hit 50 first. But when we do hit 50, I have a very special giveaway. So the goal is that by the end of February, we have 50 subscribers. If we can do that, I have a very special giveaway planned. So I am super, super excited about that. So we have now come to the end of this video. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. You guys mean the world to me. Um... I wouldn't be doing YouTube if it weren't for my subscribers and my fans. I absolutely love you guys to death. Mwah! I cannot give you guys enough loves. But as I say at the end of every single one of my videos, peace, love, and hugs. Bye, guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Mwah!